I was due to have Ethan around the midway point of the deployment, and the fact that I was pregnant made it 10 times more difficult. We were saying goodbye to one person. I feel like he had a little bit harder because he was saying goodbye to three people, and the son, he wouldn't be there to see born. So on October 10th, uh, I got an email saying, hey, I'm, I'm going into the hospital for my wife. Um, <laughs> This is happening right now. You need to figure out a way to, to make yourself uh, to be with us, even though you're 6,000 miles away. So I ran as fast as I could to the USO, um, bars in the door. I, I looked like a mess. Um, and I found the lady who ran the USO. I was like, my wife's having a baby. What can you do? And she's like, OK, Dad, calm down. Um, we, got a, we got an office to the side. It was a staff office where the, the staff and the volunteers who ran the USO uh, had, had their computers and put all their, their gear and whatnot. Uh, she gave me one of their personal computers, uh, a set of headphones, logged me into Skype. Uh, I dialed my, my wife's friend who had a Skype account who was also in the delivery room with her at the time. Uh, and then less you know, than 30 seconds later, uh, I could see her on the, on the bed in the delivery room with her friends uh, and everybody else who was there to support her. Uh, what was it, about an hour later? Ethan was born uh, and I got to see my son just seconds after, after he was born, I got to see him being cleaned up, being weighed, being measured, um, something I wouldn't have been able to do if it wasn't for the services offered by the USO. Uh, and it was really important to me because I got to stay in the office for the better part of an hour, an hour and a half after the delivery um, to talk to Laura, to talk to her friends, to see what, see what she needed, to, to see pictures of my son, you know, who was only seven pounds at the time. And it was great. It was a very emotional experience for both of us. And the fact that I could be there electronically over Skype uh, what was huge. Uh, just to support her, to support my daughter, to see my son, um, it was great. It was a phenomenal experience. And then after the fact, the, the, the staff at the USO gave me a onesie that says I met my dad at the USO for the first time. One of my friends put it perfectly that you can have your best friend in the delivery room with you, but it's, it's not your husband. And just for Nick to be there um, is a memory that we will forever have.